Hi, my name is Michael Mira, and I'm a PDM specialist here at Hawk Ridge Systems. Today, we'll be going over how to effectively use offline mode for PDM. Offline mode is a way for users to continue to work on files while not connected to the PDM server. Files checked out by a user in offline mode will behave the same way as if they were online, showing other users who the file is currently checked out by, and the user will have read and write access to the file. You can also create new files in the vault while offline, and then add them to the vault when you connect again. Working offline can be beneficial when there's ever any connectivity issues with the server. Either you cannot connect, or it's unstable. This could happen when you're working remotely, or when the vault is undergoing any type of maintenance or upgrade that might cause the servers to be down. Before you go offline, be sure to check out any files you plan to make changes to. And get any files that are required for reference. Once you have all the files you need to work on when offline, there are two ways to enter offline mode. First, you can go to Tools, Work Offline. Alternatively, when you try to log into your vault and get prompted for credentials, you have the option to work offline here. Please note that this method may not show up if you have automatic login on your machine. When you're in offline mode, you'll notice some immediate changes. First, the folders are blue and not green. This is the best indicator that you are in offline mode. Secondly, you'll notice that the columns are different. Since you're no longer connected to the PDM database, file metadata is no longer visible in the top columns here. This also means that, besides the preview tab, all the other tabs do not contain any information or metadata. Instead, these new columns are the default Windows columns, except for the writable column. This writable column will let you know if you can make changes to the file. Files that are either added in offline mode or checked out prior to going offline should show that they are writable. If you do not get or check out the files prior to going offline, your local cache will not have any of that data and the same folder will not show anything. Similarly, if you do not get the latest version, the visible files that you do see may not be the latest version of the file set and was the last version that you had locally cached in your working folder. My goal is to modify this top level assembly, the Swiss Army Knife, by adding a new component that is currently not in the vault. First, I will use the non-vaulted file and perform a save as into the vault folder I want to save it to. Once that's complete, you'll see that this holder has been added to that folder, and because I'm in offline mode and added a file that previously was not in the vault, it shows up as writable. Next, I'll take the top level Swiss Army knife assembly and add the holder to it. Once I've added the holder, I can go ahead and save this file. and then I'm done in SOLIDWORKS. I've completed all the work I can away from the office, but now it's time for me to share my project with my coworkers. To do this, I need to go back online and check these files in. To work in online mode, go to Tools, Work Online. Now that I'm back online, I can navigate to that same folder I was just working in. You'll notice that the folders are green again, which shows that I am in online mode. And once here, you'll notice a few things. First of all, this file is still checked out by me, but the holder I added doesn't show checked out by me, and it's considered a local file. Because I added it in offline mode, the vault is still unaware of its existence, so I need to actually add it to the vault by right-clicking, and selecting the option Add to File Vault. This will bring up a screen very similar to the check-in screen. Essentially you have the file name, any warnings you may have, and the fact that you want to add it to the vault. So I'll go ahead and select Add. And you'll see now it's checked out by me. 
It's still not in a state because it hasn't been checked in yet, but this is now officially recognized by the vault. I can come to this holder and make any changes to the data card. And when I'm ready, I can check in the top level assembly. You'll notice that the holder shows up here as well. And now our offline mode is complete. We've made changes to the top level assembly and added new components to the vault wall offline, then came back online and checked everything in. And that is everything I have to show you today. So hopefully you can use these tips to work effectively offline. Thanks for watching.